Uh, hello everyone, this is John Langan here um, with an update on Laird Barron. Uh, as some of you know, Laird has been very sick for a number of months now and has resisted going to the doctor uh, in part because he's just stubborn and in part because he has no health insurance. And as I've said uh, all too many times recently, if you know the US healthcare system, then you know that we have excellent care, but if you don't have health insurance, it's very difficult to get access to that care. And the financial consequences of not having health insurance and needing medical care can really be disastrous. They can, they can really ruin someone's life. And so far too many people avoid getting help when they need help because of their fears about what getting help is, uh, what extending their life is gonna do to the rest of that life. It's you know bitterly ironic. Well, anyway, we, uh, Laird finally felt uh, bad enough to be frank this past uh, uh, Sunday that he agreed to go to the emergency room. And so I went there uh, with him and his partner, Jessica. Uh, things have developed uh, quite quickly. Um, and at this point, he's been moved from our little uh, community of Kingston in upstate New York down to uh, Westchester Medical Center, which is about 20 miles from uh, New York City and is one of the, the premier medical facilities in the in the region. It's um, it, there he has received excellent care um, and care that he's really been happy with. Uh, I've, I've been down to visit him a few times and the nurses, the doctors, the teams of nurses and doctors come in it feels like every five minutes everybody's been very lovely and everybody has um has been very aggressive in terms of their treatment of uh, of of laird it didn't come out quite right but maybe it did anyway he's um um as of as of this moment he may be having surgery this morning to help to clear up uh, one of the issues he's been experiencing. And uh, we just don't know. We're, we're just waiting on, on word from the doctors. We, uh, Mike Davis uh, and I set up a GoFundMe for him and the response to that GoFundMe has been heartwarming and amazing. Um, in a time when there's regular, you know, daily uh, three, four, five pieces of horrible bad news. This has been one little bright spot. People have been extraordinarily generous and extraordinarily kind. Uh, and, and it has moved uh, Laird to tears, certainly. And um, and I may have found myself getting a bit misty eyed too. So I suppose one of the things I want to do this morning is just say thank you so much. Um, thank you for for your support and your messages of support. It, it really means a lot to him. It's, it's easy enough. Uh, uh, as a writer um, to, to lose track, I guess, or not have sight even in the first place of how people think of you and, and to feel that I'm just working at a, a desk and sending stuff out into the ether and, and who knows what, uh, what it's doing. And so it, it's been a wonderful reminder to him um, that, that he does have a lot of fans who love his work, uh, who care for him and his work and who want to see him get better because they want to see him do more work. And I have to say, having visited him in the hospital, um, you know, we've been talking about, OK, what use are you going to make of this in the next story or what can you do this in a story? You know, he, he sort of can't stop writing, as it were, even when he's not actually uh, at the keyboard. So uh, we think at this point he'll be in the hospital for maybe another week. Uh, it could be as long as two weeks. It, it really depends on on how he how his recovery goes. Um, some of the uh, the the doctor yesterday told him everything you everything that's going on with you is curable. It's just a matter of time and it's a matter to a certain extent of of persistence. You have to take this serious this stuff seriously and you have to take care of yourself. And um, he seems to have gotten the message as far as that goes. So it's just a matter of time now and, and I'm hopeful uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that in the near future he'll be back home and I'm hopeful that in the, the longer term future um, he'll make a decent recovery and he'll get back to writing. So everything that you've done has been greatly appreciated. Um, as I said, the future is uncertain, so the GoFundMe, we're, we're leaving it up for the moment. Um, and if uh, times are really hard for everybody, if you can spread the word about it and and that's the limit to what you can do, then that's totally fine. If you can give five dollars, which some people have done, that's also totally fine. God bless you. And um, if you can give any more than that, that's also wonderful. But 
I want uh, I don't want this to sound like uh, uh, I'm shilling for a used car or something like that. You know what what you can do, even just sending a message of support uh, means an awful lot. Uh, just as an aside, someone asked me, could you send cards to the hospital? I don't think so because of COVID concerns and because of um, uh, because he's moving rooms on a, on a sort of a frequent basis. If that changes, I, I will absolutely let you know. Um, I'm very grateful to, to Simon Beswick and Gemma Files for inviting me to come on to their, their show to give this update to, to talk to everybody. Um, Airtime is at a premium, you know, every and, and uh, I uh, I'm very I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity. So thanks to you guys. Uh, all right, everybody, I, I will continue to post updates on uh, on social media. Take care of yourselves. And if you'd like to make a donation to Laird Barron's GoFundMe, then you can find a link in the description below. Thank you very much for listening.